Let's try again. I have no idea what's going on here. <laughs> oh. I decided to go back to 1986 and see how I could get on for a week living with DOS software. Well, I've been talking on this channel quite a bit about retro things recently, old software, so I thought I'd, I'd give it a go, and I'm quite looking forward to it, to be honest. I'm going to spend the next week uh, using my old DOS-based PC over there, no Windows, uh, software such as WordPerfect 4.2, Sidekick. I've still got my, look, complete with uh, the five and a quarter inch uh, floppy disk. So I'm going to go back, uh, see how I get on. I'm really looking forward to it. I think this is going to be quite fun. This is my authentic 1980s computer, the Compact 3, which I bought in 1987. However, I'll show you the software on this slightly more modern Dell PC, which I think dates from about 2001, for the simple reason that the screen is easier to see on video. So I'm at the system prompt. Obviously, I haven't got any windows, so I'm going to see what's in this directory. I enter the dir command. Too much on screen. Let's do a wide directory. That's slash w. Now I can see there are some, there are some directories, some subdirectories uh, shown between square brackets. What shall I load? I'll go to, let's go to my word perfect. That's word perfect 4.2. So there's going to be a lot of this sort of entering commands at the system prompt, which people are not used to so much today if they use Windows. Anyway, uh, WP load it up. This is the word processor. It's almost not there. I mean, it's just a completely blank screen. I can start typing things in or uh, I have to remember quite a lot of, of function key commands. F5 gives me a directory. Let's have a f find something here. OK, so to retrieve it, I press 1. And there you are. Now, WordPerfect 4.2 doesn't really show very much in the way of formatting. It does show this line up here is centered, which I've set earlier. But uh, if I wanted to turn on bold text, for example, it will only show a rough indication of that. Let me give you uh, an example. It shows it in color in this case, but I need to do that by marking a block. Let's mark off a few words in bold. Alt F4 is the block marker. You can see it's flashing block on down here. And I scroll along to there, let's say. And F6 is the bold keystroke. So press F6 and you can see it sets it to a different color. If I wanted to check that really is bold, I need to look in re in the reveal codes window. That's Alt F3. And you can see that the capital B and the lowercase b mark the start and the end of the bold uh, section, just as above it, the capital C and the lowercase c mark the begin and end of the centering and the HRT at the end, that's a hard carriage return. So that's a quick example of why the reveal codes is so absolutely essential in Word. Perfect. So this is a pure text mode word processor. Later versions of WordPerfect added graphics, but I'm sticking with WordPerfect 4.2 for this. Now, one of the problems with DOS, uh, let's get rid of this, Alt F3, compared to modern operating systems like Windows, is I can only run one program at a time. So once I'm in WordPerfect, uh, I am stuck there. I have to exit it. Now I'm back at the system prompt. One program that I used a lot to get around this was Sidekick from Borland. This is the Sidekick Plus edition, uh, which has got a few more bells and whistles than the standard Sidekick, but they both work essentially the same. Now, Sidekick was a terminate and stay resident program. It's the nearest thing we had to multitasking. It's not really multitasking, but once it's loaded, it then vanishes from screen. So I'm back at the DOS prompt, but I can press Control and Alt and up pops my Sidekick. So let's uh, go to some other software. Uh, where have I got Turbo Pascal? I've been using Turbo Pascal 3 in the mid 80s programming system. Run it. There it comes. I include the error messages. Uh, again, this is, you know, text mode. You don't see much of a user interface. I can look what's in the directory by pressing D there. And I started writing a game in Pascal. So let's load that. Adv game.pas. 
Now, suppose I wanted to copy some text from this into WordPerfect. Now, I, as I said, I can't multitask. I can't keep them loaded at the same time. This is where Sidekick gets me around the problem. So I pop up Sidekick, uh, select Copy From, Screen to Clipboard. Now I can move around the underlying screen, press B to start a block, and I mark off a block of text, enter, and that will have copied it into Sidekick's clipboard. Let's get out of Turbo Pascal, Control K D to get out of the editor, Q to go back to the prompt, C D, uh, what was it, W P 42, load up Word Perfect again, and pop up Sidekick, Services, paste from clipboard and there it is so in word perfect now i have that text that i previously copied from turbo pascal let's have a look what else is in sidekick so sidekick has a this is sidekick plus has a file manager so it saves me doing all that navigating from the uh, system prompt uh, notepad well that's where i can type notes ascii table and so on. So it's a little collection of utilities. Let's load up something else into WordPerfect now. The document I had before. That's the document I had before. It's been appended below the text that I already had there. The extra features. So F3 gets me help, not yet F1 as standard. And this is absolutely vital because I it's been so long since I've used WordPerfect, I can't remember everything and I haven't got a menu system to find those functions, so I have to use help quite a lot. Uh, what do I want? It's got a spelling check, what's that? Then speller is control F2, let's go back to this. So control F2 and let's spell the document. And well, okay, that's not found. I skip that. Uh, it thinks that could be master. Let's select it as whatever it is. Uh, let's try it's also got a thesaurus. I'll have to check help again. Uh, help for thesaurus. Where is that? Alt F1. I'd never have guessed it, but there it is. Um, let's have a look at see if it's got an alternative for flash. Alt F1. And OK, let's have a glimmer. At the end of that, how did I get on? Uh, it's a bit of a mix, really. I really liked the um, Word perfect clean screen. I like getting away from all those icons and the screen clatter uh, that we're used to in Windows software, but I found it much harder, Word perfect, much harder to use than I remembered. I'd forgotten all the commands I, I used to have. I remembered halfway through using it when I had Word perfect back in the 80s. They used to provide this cardboard template that you put over the function keys. To remind you what you know what they all did well i'd forgotten all that and i was constantly having to look up a uh, help system to find out how to do quite simple things block functions as you see in the outtakes i'll put them at the end of this uh, video i found those really counterintuitive i suppose i'm used to using the mouse you just mark everything off with a mouse and word on windows for example or, or LibreOffice, or whatever you're using uh so the dos software from 1986 mostly didn't use a mouse at all. I didn't have a mouse and Turbo Pascal doesn't support the mouse. Word Perfect 4.2 doesn't. It's a mouseless world. It's a bit like uh, the two things I noticed are it's a mouseless world and it's an internet-less world. No internet, no web um, and no mouse. Mouse mostly not a problem except when I was trying to manipulate blocks and then I did miss it. Everything uses a different set of commands. Turbo Pascal has WordStar commands, which I think mostly Sidekick does as well, which is, for example, Turbo Pascal to exit the editor, you have to press Control KD, KD. Uh, and uh, in Word Perfect, it's all different. They have their own commands, use a lot of function keys. It's just a bit of a mess. I mean, that's only a small range of software. Another thing I noticed, i would really forgotten this, WordPerfect doesn't support smart quotes. You know, when you enter in Word and you enter quotes, single or double quotes, and they convert them to the curly ones, 
WordPerfect doesn't do that. The other thing I really found hard was file operations. If you want to move files from one directory to another or, or, or create and move directories around, you, again, you assume you're going to do that with some sort of file management tool as you would in Windows. You're on your own. You've got to use DOS commands. I mean, it's really, really hard. And I, I again, I, I, I can't remember them all. And even when I do remember, it's you have to. It's quite long and and quite error prone. You you could easily um, copy things or move things or delete things that you didn't intend to do. So would I go back to the 1980s? Would I go back to using that? Would I be happy to do so? For word processing, in spite of the problems I had with WordPerfect, I really, really do like this clean screen approach. It's such a change from this, this icon window menu heavy approach that we're used to in Windows. I just want to deal with words. When I'm just dealing with words, I just want a blank screen and get on with it. For formatting documents, not so good, uh, but mostly I just want to write words. That's the other thing is, you know, I'd forgotten just how difficult it is to to um, work with one program at a time. If I want to copy text from uh, one program to another program, currently the only way I can do that is to copy it into into Sidekick, whereas we're used to on, on Windows, you know, you just copy it from one window to the next. So an interesting uh, experiment. Some things I liked, some things I didn't. Uh, now let's go on to the outtakes. From Borland. Let's, oops, Turbo. Yeah. So let's try setting some italics. Uh, now, Control F8. Uh, I have no idea how to set italics. So, if I wanted now to say, set all this line in bold, Alt F4, mark it, F4. I have no idea what's going on here. <laughs> F6 sets it to bold and Alt F4 ends it. And let's just check. No. <laughs> no. Oh, 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 God. This is, let's try again. Oh, 